Hello, welcome to another episode of Office Hours with the Math Sorcerer. In today's episode, I'm going to be answering an email I received from a viewer. As always, if you have any advice for this person and you're watching this on YouTube, please leave a comment in the comment section below. If you're listening to this via YouTube or Spotify, you can always come back to the YouTube video here on the Math Sorcerer YouTube channel and leave your comments. Okay, I'm gonna read this email very carefully. It's a little bit longer, but it's actually very interesting. I just said actually, actually very interesting. I need more coffee. The person's name is Jovan, and the subject is advice for med student. Wow. Dear Math Sorcerer, I am a medical student from Croatia and a big fan of your YouTube channel. I enjoy watching your videos and I'm truly grateful for everything you do. I am writing to you to ask you for some advice on how to pursue math in a more formal way. I have always liked math since high school, but I have never had the opportunity to study it at a higher level since math is not really priority in my medical faculty. I was never exceptional at math, but I have always liked doing math and have no problem getting good grades. I have been doing some online exercises from Project Euler and from the YouTube channel Mind Your Decisions. But I want to challenge myself more and learn some advanced topics. Okay. I've watched your video where you recommended some huge math books for self-studying. Math from start to finish. I was very impressed by your collection and your knowledge, but I also felt a bit intimidated by the size. I don't, much, I don't have much time on my hands because of my medical studies, so I was wondering if you could suggest some smaller and more accessible books that are still advanced enough to make me interested or give me some other advice on how to be consistent and to spend this limited time of mine in the most efficient way. I would appreciate any guidance or recommendation you could give me. You are an inspiration to me and many other math enthusiasts. Thank you for your time and attention. Well, first let me say thank you, Jovan, for this wonderful email. I'm glad that um, you, you think I'm an inspiration. That's good. It makes me feel good. It's, it's really good to help people. And I definitely have some advice for you. I have all kinds of stuff to say. So first I want to comment on the fact that, um, you said that you were intimidated, uh, by the size. I, it's, it's funny because I, I, I've, I've never thought of that. You know, I've never thought that. I mean, I remember making the video, right? Learn math from start to finish. And I remember making most of my videos and, um, that's something that's interesting to me that you think that it was intimidating and I guess it is, right? <laughs> I guess it is intimidating. Now that I think about it, um, there's a lot of math that you have to learn, like to learn math from, you know, start to finish, to learn everything you would learn, say in an undergraduate math degree or, you know, and, and some of the grad school stuff, that's a lot of math and that's what was covered in that video. Uh, yeah, don't be intimidated. It, it, it is a lot, but you got to remember that you know, I studied mathematics for a very long time, right? A very long time. I was in school uh, for a long time. I took a lot of math classes. So yeah, you know, it, it takes years. It takes years. So my advice is to get a book. So number one, get a book on writing proofs. If you get a book on proof writing, what that's going to do is it's going to open the door for more interesting advanced mathematics, which I'm going to show you later in this video. So as far as getting a book on proof writing, there's all kinds of books. I have several. I was looking for one and I know I have it and I can't find it, but I couldn't find it. It's the book by Velman. Okay. The book by Velman, how to prove it. I think that's a really good one. I don't know if you can access that book in Croatia. I was trying to think before making this video, because I read your email before making the video thinking, what book can I recommend that you can access in Croatia? And I just thought of one right now. There's a book online. It's called Book of Proof. It's free. It's 100% free. You can buy it from Amazon. I actually bought it. I have a physical copy in paperback that I purchased on Amazon, but the book is free. It's written by Richard Hammack. It's called Book of Proof. So that's a free version that you can get. It's pretty good. I've done maybe 20 exercises from the book and I've looked at maybe 80% of the book. I've glanced over it and I've maybe read one or two chapters fully. That's my experience with the book, which is pretty good. I've looked at almost the entire book. I've looked at the solutions. You know, I've I've looked at it a couple times. I made a, a, a video reviewing it. It's called Book of Proof. And what you want to do with that book, okay, is you want to sit down every day and you want to work on it for like 30 minutes, okay? And that's how you really take it to the next level because that's like, 
you know, that's not passive. That's not just like watching a YouTube video or, you know, watching, you know, another YouTube channel, uh, which is Mind Your Decisions, which is a really famous channel. It's been out for a long time. I think he does like tricky math problems. You know, those are great. Those are great YouTube. It's a great YouTube channel. It's got great videos, but like you're not going to get really good unless you sit down with a book um, like Book of Proof and work through it. So that's one option. Another option is the book by Velman. Okay, again, I think that's I think that's a better book. It's very affordable. I grudgingly bought that book. I I did not want to buy it. Uh, I feel like I feel like I was pressured to buy it. People kept leaving um, comments about that book a few, several months ago, maybe a year ago, and they were like, "Oh, you got to check out the book by Velman," because I was talking about these other proof books. And then, and I bought it. I'm like, "Ah, oh, what do I want this book?" And I started reading it. I'm like, "Oh, I already know all this stuff. It's kind of boring." And then I forced myself to read it, and I'm like, "This is pretty good. It's got a lot of stuff in there." And even though I know most of the math the way he explains it and his take on different things like he talks about vacuous truths i thought that was really enlightening and i thought that velman did a good job so the book by velman is phenomenal um i don't want to say it's my favorite proof writing book but it's definitely the one i'm recommending to you um i also like the book by bond and keen it's also a good book again bond and keen but the velman book is good and in croatia you'll definitely be able to get book of proof because it's free so it's available to anyone in the world thanks to the internet again just google book of proof Richard Hammock, and you got it. Okay, so assuming you don't know how to write proofs, that's what you do. After that, what do you do? What's your path? Then that's when the world opens and the world is yours in the world of mathematics because once you know how to write proofs, you can really take it to the next level. And again, it's a slow process. It's gonna take persistence and time, but you're really gonna learn a lot of mathematics. So like, let's say you know how to write proofs. Then what you do is you get a book like this one. This is... Uh, Advanced Calculus, A Course in Mathematical Analysis by Fitzpatrick. You know, you can get this book used. Um, this is this is the first real analysis book I used. That's why I wanted to show you this one. So I've read good portions of the book. I've done a ton of the exercises. It is hard. You're going to think this is not a very good book. You're going you're gonna to buy this book after you learn to write proofs. You're going to sit down with it and you're going to struggle and you're going to have a hard time. It's one of the easiest books. <laughs> so there's there's worse, right? There's books out there that are so much harder than this one. So it's hard. It takes time. And yeah, that's my answer. So start with proof writing and then you can move up to books like this if you want to learn advanced calculus or, or say you want to learn something like abstract algebra. Another book I'd recommend would be this one here, Abstract Algebra a, with a Concrete Introduction by Beachy and Blair. I believe the new one is just called Abstract Algebra. So you can just get Abstract Algebra by BG and Blair. Fancy cover here, right? Really pretty book. But those two books are good for uh, Abstract Algebra and uh, Advanced Calculus. But you can't really do that until you get the proof writing. So that's going to take you to the next level because I'm pretty sure that like most of the videos, like most of the math videos that are on YouTube and are popular like like mind your decisions and like those other channels and all, all the math videos if you watch a math video on youtube typically typically it's not a proof right because people don't most people don't know how to write proofs right so if you're watching math videos for fun typically it's something that like most people understand like an integral or equation something that like is tricky and interesting that's typically what you see on YouTube in terms of math videos. Tricky, interesting problems that are accessible to most people. Whereas the problems you're going to be doing in here are serious, heavy, you know, theory-based, proof-based mathematics, which take a lot of work. And you don't, you do see these, you do see examples like the ones in this book on YouTube. Like I have videos, um, you know, from, from problems in this book and abstract algebra. I have a whole abstract algebra playlist, a whole advanced calculus playlist on YouTube. But it's, you know, it's not that tight. It's proof based, right? So you're going to get proofs. So you can do that too. You can watch videos like that. And there's other channels that have proof based videos. And that's really what's going to help you um, take your math to the next level. So yeah, 30 minutes a day, learn to write proofs and go from there. And another reason I say learn to write proofs is because a lot of people, um, when they first see like calculus, they say, oh, I really love doing integrals. I love integration. Oh, I love integration by parts, you know, and that's great. You should be excited about it. But that's not what all math is like. Math changes. There's different types of math. And proof, proof is key. Proof is beautiful. I'm, I'm getting goosebumps. Mathematics is about proof and discovery, right? So it's about discovering new mathematics and then proving those things. That's, that's one way to look at it. 
a simplistic way to say what mathematics is, right? Proof and discovery. And the proof part is the part that typically only math majors learn or, or computer science majors if they take a course called discrete math. And that unlocks the key to take you to the higher level math. Again, once you know how to write proofs, you can learn most of the stuff I talked about in everything actually in that learn math from start to finish video. You can learn everything. If you go to college and you get a four year degree in mathematics, what do you come out with? A lot of knowledge and the ability to write, hopefully decent proofs. So start with that and then go from there. If anyone else has any advice, uh, please leave a comment in the comment section below. Uh, people do read the comments and I think it helps other people. Again, this person's name was Jovan and the question was advice for medical student. Speaking of medical students, it's funny, I, I have a story. Now, this is not my story, but I'll finish the video with the story because I think it's an interesting story, so why not? I'll share it, I got time. I was reading a book. Um, it was a book written by a mathematician who's I believe still alive and very famous. Uh, his name is Stephen Krantz. And he has a book. It's called A Mathematician's Survival Guide. I did a review of this book long ago. I think it's been like three years. And it's probably like it's it's probably the most useful book that a person who is interested in a career in mathematics should purchase. Okay. I've read the entire book multiple times. I've read certain chapters like three times. I, I, I adored the book when I was an undergrad. After teaching and getting some actual like life on the job experience, teaching at a college for several years and seeing how things work and, you know, just seeing the psychology of it all, you know, what's expected from the math department, what do the students expect, you know, all kinds of stuff you learn about teaching when you actually deal with, with people in your teaching. And I realized that the book is not perfect. I don't agree with everything Krantz says in that book. But in that book, you will learn what it's like to, you know, to be, you know, a math person, like to be a teacher, to be a TA in grad school. It explains everything. Anyways, I digressed. He talks about how at his university, I believe it's uh, Washington University at St. Louis, and this is from the book, and I'm paraphrasing, um, there was a person who was a medical student, and he wanted to get a PhD. And he's like, hey, can you let me in? I want to get a PhD in math. This is this is the story. And again, I'm paraphrasing. And he said, OK, we'll let you in. And he I think he chose to like pay his own way. Like that's expensive, right? Grad school's not cheap. Usually it's free. So it's not cheap. So he paid his own way. And I think the story goes something like after a few months or a few weeks, he was like, this is so hard. This is so much harder than med school. And then like I, th I think he didn't finish because it was just incredibly hard compared to med school, right? PhD in math is, is so much harder, according to this one guy. So fun story, right, about a med school student going back. And I don't know what happened. I don't know if he got his PhD or he quit. I don't remember the story. The story is, uh, it's in the book, A Mathematician Survival Guide by, by Stephen Krantz. So you're not the only med student to want to go back to school and study math. But I think that's hardcore. Medicine is hard, right? I mean, the fact you're in medical school, that is no joke, right? To get into medical school, medical school at least in the US, it is very difficult. I mean, it's, you know, you're going to be a doctor. <laughs> so that's a really good thing. Anyways, uh, kind of a long video. Um, hopefully this has helped someone else out there who's watching this on YouTube or listening via YouTube's new podcast thing or Spotify. But yeah, that's my advice. Start with proofs, right? Start with proofs. That's really going to open the door. And that's the advice for anyone who is thinking, oh, I want to get, I want to really learn math. St if you already know some math, start with proofs. If you don't know any math and like your math is really, really bad, learn some algebra and stuff first. Get familiar with the lingo. Get some exposure to like trying to read math books. It's a real struggle when you're learning. Uh, and then and then jump into proofs. But the book by Velman, beautiful book. I recommend it. I'll try to leave a link in the description of this YouTube video. If you're watching this on YouTube, you can see it there. And um, book of proof, it's also free. You can just Google that. But I'll, I'll leave a link as well in case you want to check that out. Anyways, until next time, thanks for watching. And if you're watching this on YouTube and you're still watching this, if you've made it this far in the video, oh, wow, this is a 14-minute video, uh, make sure to subscribe, right? Subscribe to my channel. I usually post uh, videos like this. This is for my podcast. I also post other videos. This is this one is 100% unedited. I just had my morning coffee, and I wanted to reply to some to an email, at least one email here on the channel. So, yeah, good luck. Take care. Keep doing math.